Hello people out there and welcome back to Fat Lads Going Goal. We're back just like we said we'd be back and I'm your host and fat lad with a good complex, Mark Watson. In my bottom right hand corner tonight. Will Pew search the lonely earth for me, climb through the briar and bramble? I will be Pew's treasure. I felt the touch of the kings and the breath on the wind. I knew the call of all the songbirds, but they sang all the wrong words. I'm waiting for Pew. I'm waiting for Christopher Pew. Beautiful that is, Mark. Thank you. That's uh, fills my fills my little soul. That does when I hear that. That's that is officially gorgeous. the only mm. TV show you've ever recommended to me that was <laughs> even agree. part He's watchable. Good. Yeah, it was. I really, really liked it. Even heartwarming if, stuff. It, it it was. It's lovely. Have you ever it's seen? The de- uh, it's the detectorist. Have you seen the Joe? detectorist, Joe? No idea what it's, it is. No, it's on no, Netflix. No. It's really good. It's heartwarming. Really it's good. Ninety nine percent of everything Pure recommends is shite. It's, it's not true. If you take nothing else away from this episode, <laughs> the detectorist is worth watching. Yeah, but yeah. Never go watch to a the detectorist. Okay. It'll it'll put uh, it'll put a smile on 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 even the saddest face on the oh. saddest day of the saddest uh, year on well, we're not sad anymore no we're not we're, we're no we've should, got should we... permanent smiles but all the ones who do have like tendencies to be sad about football or just generally whether you are maybe you are a detectorist and you're not finding much treasure at the moment they find a lot of gold for like a small group oh, in one field. don't ruin it Oh, sorry. No. They, they never find yeah. gold. <laughs> I know what you're on about. Idiot. I thought you were just saying the, like, the word detective really weird, but it's the one with the guy out of the UK office. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah, a yeah. clip. It did look good. I'll give it Very a watch. Good. Give it a... Anyway, yeah, we've got a special guest. I bet you can't guess who it is. In my know. bottom left-hand the corner palpable. <laughs> The tension's palpable. The tension's palpable. He was so supportive all the time. He kind of had me as his special guy. Now I realise how important he was in my life. The first main imposing male figure in my life trying to guide me. Brummy Joe, you're alive. I can't wow. believe this. Someone said you was dead. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. He's back from the YouTube grave. grave rather, It's Brummy Joe. I am now the Brummy Undertaker. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the Brum Undertaker. That by any chance, pure. Someone's, Not a clue. Someone said, no. someone said you was dead. Someone, it was the EM, EM I think, Joe. because the, the joke uh, is, Joe, that you've disappeared teacher. and now you're back. And like the EM Wright meme of I thought you were dead, it was a really funny joke. Oh Joe, my God. Mm. My, I swear flat. to God. My, you are the old teacher. You are. L- yeah, my brain. over work, our yeah. shoulders. I am EM yeah. Wright. Yeah. Right, right. I, I would say I would say the whole Birmingham City fan community is Ian Wright in this situation. And we all, we all we thought, all thought Brummie Joe. Joe was dead. We all thought we'd lost Joe. It was touch and, and go. Uh, but there he is. Creep- it was. It was touching Joe. Creeping out of the little weird. turnstile. Yeah. Joe, where have you been? Were you dead? Um, No, I, no, I wasn't actually. I was You're just not. sort of fed up. <laughs> fed up? Just, I was fed, fed, up with, you, fed up with Blues, fed up with BHHL. I was just like... This ain't gonna change, and I slowly like it was over the course of a couple of seasons, and mm. slowly and slowly and slowly, just it was enjoying it less and less. And then mm-hmm. obviously, when you're doing content as well, like I went to a few games last season, but not many at all. And when you're yeah. doing content like editing and stuff, you kind of need to ha- have care. the love for it. Yeah, you need to care. And I was just so it was just like a whole sense of apathy that I think a load of Blues fans felt, and I was just I just couldn't do it. I was like, nah. And then all this side happened, and I just felt like. There's a bandwagon I can jump again. on. Well, exactly. <laughs> but the problem is, yeah, I've, I've, obviously I've been doing it forever, but the the entirety of my the time I've been, you know, posting on YouTube, we have been dog, <laughs> yeah, and then I, know, I yeah. stop, and blues get good. So if if we ever start being shit again, people You'll might fuck off. There's, the, there's a yeah. correlation there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna stand in the way. <laughs> and there's a strong <laughs> chance Joe actually might be dead. <laughs> well, there you by, go. by the end of the season, if he if he comes back and we and we finish eighteenth again, then you really are in trouble. There's I uh, am, I am. There, there's a few um, blues content creators and and uh, writers and whatnot who vowed never to talk about blues again. Who are now like, actually, mm. <laughs> maybe we will do the odd thing, and it, it's class. Like the the whole well, the more area. The more, again. The, merrier, the more the merrier more the merrier the atmosphere just in the fan base in, is in general is awesome everyone's so enthusiastic at the moment i'm um, trying to steal my spotlight which i'm not overjoyed about um but it, it, as if anybody would do that if, <laughs> but no joking aside it, it's class and it, it's great to have you back joe so you're going to be doing vlogs 
weekly now or are you just going to do selective ones what's the plan well i went from platinum to season ticket holder away membership so it's like whatever i can get to and it's just kind of about building the uh away membership back up before we get to the champions league obviously so just yeah that's the main priority right now uh, but yeah i mean it's with the flags with this i've always thought like do i want to go another way with it like because i sometimes feel like i'm getting a bit too old to be recording myself in in a stand and i've said before it kind of like when you haven't done it for a while and you had like the covid break and all that stuff mm. You ha- I feel like you have to get very used to doing it. And yeah. I took this big break and I started doing it again like last season. Of mm. the- I went to like Baggies Away. I was just so aware of what I was doing because it is a bit weird. It is a bit bizarre. Mm. But then at the same time, I had people like coming up to me like uh, like a 60-year-old bloke and he was like, oh, I missed, missed the video. So there's the kind of balance because it people either hate it or, mm. or like it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think as long as it... As long as it feels good, as long as uh, I'm enjoying it, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. What, what you say you're getting on? What are you now, Joe? 43, 44? 20, 28. But I'm 28. Like, it's, a, it's a kid's game, isn't it? It's a kid's game. A little right. bit. Um, I'm 36 but... doing a podcast. Like... I would say, I would uh, say it... content, content uh, social media content is a kid's game yeah. for sure. And obviously, um, that's that's why we, we're we still here kicking around, you know. Just... Yeah. Just Big to show one, the yeah. lads how to do it, basically, really. Yeah, I don't know. It might evolve at some point, uh, but but yeah, I just it's just what what I what I know at the minute, and mm. yeah, I'll go I mean, from there. This was all all started just from me, Pew, and Jack telling shit jokes to each other and thinking other people might like shit jokes. Like it was all for our own enjoyment, wasn't it? Yeah, it was um, basically. Yeah. If you're not enjoying it yourself, then there's no point cracking on. Yeah. And like you say, though, those BSHL years were tough. <laughs> They yeah. were a hard slog to get through. Like, how many how many different ways can you come on every week and say blues are shit? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all we've got for you this week. Thanks. A lot. I mean, so. I mean, w- w- to be fair, we did it, Mark, didn't we? We we carried on through. We the muscled tough through, time. mate. We're not glory we, hunters yeah, like we, you. Know. We, we, <laughs> we paid yeah, our dues. Yeah. We did, mate. We we did a good job, to be fair. I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> kept the place fair going. Play. We fair did. Play. Nah, kept your seat warm, Joe. Kept we kept the lights warm. on for you, Joe. But you know, yeah, you don't have to thank us. We had we had so many kind of full storms as well, and it was like you, you, you kind of went like this, and then eventually it was like nothing's going to change <laughs> no. at all, and no. then all of a sudden it's beyond our wildest dreams. It's, it's just, only only could happen to Birmingham. It's like that mm. um that letter we had. Oh, I should do this, but we have a show two off, so we always do the first half about blues. It always is. Then at halftime we got a few ponders and another stony sings the blues. Then in the second half we've got some vlogging. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, we vlogging. had that letter vlogging. 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 We're going to show Joe Woo-hoo. how to do it properly, aren't we, Pierre? Yes, yes, I can't wait. Um, that letter from Gary Cook earlier about the shirts, and that that isn't great. Like apparently the home and away shirt might not be available for another twelve months. Mm. at which point the season will be over so that's not great ideally like obviously but then compare that to when we were told the stands were going to be shut it would just be a few months and they bshl mm. carried on selling season tickets like knowing full well we've got three years of the seats not even being available yeah like yes like the gary that gary cook letter from today yesterday if you're watching this um it was this is the problem this is the cause of the problem this is what we're going to do about it sorry which yeah. is kind of all you need, really. It's a problem they didn't create, but they're now going to try and solve. Compare yeah. that to what we've had before. I just think everything about knighthood, knighthood, knighthead rather, and um, Shelby Companies Limited, just everything about it is just different and better, and it's weird, and I'm still waiting for the wheels to fall off, and the whole contractors going out of business thing felt like it might be the wheels falling off, but if, if that was under... BSHL, I'd be worried, but I know Knighthead will have a contingency plan. Like, Pew, are you mm. worried about the whole um, contractors going into administration thing? Um, I, I, I think I'm on, I'm on board with with what you've just said to me, which is, yes, mate. I'm I'm trying to get my head around the fact that I actually kind of agree with you on something. So. <laughs> That's difficult enough as it is at the I'll moment. To that. But, um, so you, you might just have to all give me just a minute to throw up. But um, no, I, I I think I agree in the sense that any that in the last, like Joe said, in the last eight years, you'd be shitting yourself now thinking, "Oh Christ, there's another three year wait." Here we go again. You know, you know, 
we're not going to get that they they probably paid for cheap contractors who have gone into administration and now they're not going to bother for another two years. But with with Nighthead, you just know that um, you know there was probably three contingency plans before they even decided on Buckingham Group, and now now that's gone bust. They'll just sort themselves out and you know d- dust dust themselves down and get the next slot in and. You know, and I'm sure they'll do everything that they can to to stick to the time frame that they they spoke about before. Definitely, Joe. You're you're a younger gentleman. Do you do you remember those? You are. He's 28. Yeah, she's younger than me, and I'll definitely take it younger for the next two you. years. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you remember a time of such positivity as a blues fan in your young? Uh, life? I mean, I feel like. No, no, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Like there was a stage when you know we were kind of yo-yoing between the prem and the the championship, where it, but we kind of almost felt like it was it was a bit of entitlement, really. Like yeah, we've mm. ba- we've gone down, we'll bounce back up, we'll be mm-hmm. fine, we'll try and stay up, this that, and the other, and obviously a lot of optimism around uh, you know us winning the cup, but gen- generally about like the 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 behind the scenes of the club, like off the pitch. Mm. never had anything like this no like i know a lot of people the way we uh kind of got rid of sullivan and gold for example and then we had carson young and bshl and we were like oh my god like what did we do and now where we are now we're just we're just in a in a better situation long term i think and uh, it's hard to get your head around it because i feel like we've been conditioned to be negative yeah yeah and it's like we've got a kind of like untrain that from ourselves mm. so uh yeah I- i'm enjoying the process though and yeah love I-, I love everything gary cook says he speaks i listen definitely matt and it is just he's a top bloke and everyone who's met him says the same and like it's not like he'd just randomly slap you in the face like you would assume that he would be a top bloke why wouldn't he be um mm. but he is like he's got loads of time for everyone he's a top bloke jeremy dale's a top bloke like, they'll all stop and talk to you they they are brilliant like i don't know what, unlike brady who just walked straight past me and didn't stop for a photo um <laughs> they will stop it and and convert go on brady i know yeah that, that video where i'm just going can i have a photo no, Tom, no, Tom. no do you know what it was we we're all waiting outside the hotel and there was like security everywhere um but mm-hmm. craig garner came over and we had a, a bit of a chat and we were kind of like right this has bought our permit to stand here now because everyone like people were getting moved on and then we had a chat with Jeremy Dale, I had a chat with Gary Cook, had photos, he, again, brilliant, Hope Powell met her, brilliant, and then Tom Brady comes out, and mm. all the people waiting are just silent, and I'm like, one of you has to say, we're over here, mate, and like, yeah. can you say hello? Mm-hmm. So, little squeaky voice, Mark Watson goes, Tom! Yeah. Tom! Tom! Can I have your photo, Tom? And he walked straight past me, straight in the car, didn't even Can I touch your penis, Tom? Tom? Mate, didn't even look over. Do you know what, though? I did think People probably shout that to him all the time. I should have shouted, like, how shit was Len Fournette last season or something. Something <laughs> they would get him to look over, or thanks for the, the Super Bowl win. Or, mm. Perhaps he thought I was paparazzi, but no, yeah. I was just a sad little fanboy. Um, yeah. So with, with the shirts... Which is even worse than paparazzi. Is... There's not much worse than paparazzi, but <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> shy, squeaky voice, little fanboy is worse. Um, Mark had a little sign up, didn't he? I know. Yeah. Can <laughs> yeah. I have your shirt? Your shirt, Tom, please, please, Tom, Tom please. I love you. Um, <laughs> the the whole kit thing. So obviously we can't get replica home and away shirts, um, as they said in this statement, because of is it just sport? Is that what they're called? Oh, um, they're such a small tin pot company. No offence, hope that doesn't offend anyone, but whatever. I think um, they're sponsoring us next, next week, aren't they? Right? <laughs> they certainly aren't. Um, yeah. So you've got to like buy in advance, like order well in advance, so that it's too late for mm. that. So, they're talking about this third kit. Now, someone on Twitter put, and I'll, I'll shout mate, it's, it's their username is PACIG1875, and they tweeted, just make the third kit royal and blue and wear it home and away randomly. Is that against the rules, or could they do that, do you think? Essentially, make just what? make another home kit. So this third kit, they Surely said they're going to make, and they'll have it out by Christmas. They'll, they'll yeah. rush the order through. It'll obviously yeah. be through someone else. Could they just make that almost like a second home kit? 
I hope not. Uh, well, I don't see the benefit. Yeah, <laughs> to, to sell it basically. But they, yeah, the, but the issue is people would buy the home kit. Let's face it. This lot, this lot have got us in the palm of their bloody hands. Wow. Well, yeah. They true. could. They could. Really, the third kit could be a Mister Bobby suit, and it'd sell out. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Fair. It's if it's got an undefeated logo on it, and we're top six by November. And then they'll they'll sell anything. I have no no desire for this to happen. It was just an interesting comment that made yeah. me think. I wonder if yeah. it, like the awake it. I thought that would be breaking the rules. The awake it. Obviously, it's not. No. But but every every shirt is different, isn't it? So you would think there would be some rules. Perhaps there aren't. So what's to stop you? We don't you... we we don't listen to rules. <laughs> yeah, we tried that under BSH. We're, I don't look how that rule ended up. <laughs> we're rule breakers, remember? Yeah, that's Christian Pedersen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, right, I, I made notes on the Leeds game, then we didn't do an episode, so mm. that's pointless. But the, the whole atmosphere of the that's Leeds good, game. That's good, that was the Leeds game. It was awesome. Like mm. Just meeting everyone before. I met Brummy Joe at the Roost, and that was like a highlight of my day. I didn't bother <laughs> Whatever. No, no. Um, I could buy myself one. I was looking <laughs> cash. <laughs> I didn't have cash. Tom Brady was in the corner. I was like, Tom, give me a minute. Joe's yeah. over there. I'm going to go and see Brummy <laughs> Joe, mate. I'll see you after. <laughs> But no, we met oh, some God. absolute legendary people. Like all everyone who came up to me and said we watched the podcast or whatever, you're awesome. I love you. I wish you'd tell me your name though, because like people come and say hello, but then don't tell me who they are, and I'm like, then they run off. Then they run off. I'm like, I don't know who you were. Do like, do I follow you on Twitter? Do I have a block yeah. you? Do I hate you in real? I don't know. Let me know yeah. who you are, and yeah. and there you go. But also, I have a tendency to get really uncomfortable, and, and the the whole arrogant Mark character like really comes out and i look like the most arrogant man on the planet i'm not you just stand there not saying anything it's either yeah it's either i'd be really arrogant or i just stand in silence because i'm too embarrassed to say thanks whereas i i I have great conversations with my fans you do great great long long extensive conversations but you're you're a lovely player but yeah the like the whole atmosphere leads the the pre-match music um, mm-hmm. the the flames as they come out the fireworks like everything oh, just blue smoke it, oh, and yeah. I tell you what the that tribute to Trevor Francis at the start it's a good job fans started singing keep right on they either sang that or one Trevor Francis I can't remember which which, which it was but yeah. cut Jasper Carrot off because yeah. I don't think he'd have got through that and mm. I personally couldn't sing it because it was I was choked up that yeah I mean what were yeah. your, your general thoughts on that day against Leeds, Joe, like you must have been pretty pumped. Did you did you do the vlog on that day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um yeah, it was an amazing day, like all round. It was it was I will say, first and foremost, it was weird seeing the roost that busy. Yeah, I, know, uh, yeah. I wasn't quite prepared. But the, I got there like just past twelve. It which was usually early. usually you're fine. Like you've it might be busy an hour before kickoff, but twelve and it was like a one in one out policy mm. and it was like 20 people outside i was like oh my god and uh yeah it was absolutely rammed it was good to see and we were kind of like making jokes about like oh, it was a bit better when we were shit we could get a point but uh yeah you're going <laughs> to the ground and yeah it was just i mean seeing it full like you know obviously we still got the lower yeah but seeing like the dual Mary Cup, uh the rest of that like and, and just hearing it all around the stadium it's so good and then the, i think the fireworks and the the uh, smoke was just the cherry on top really mm. like it was uh you, everyone that took an individual video of that you could hear everyone around them go whoa <laughs> <laughs> like they'd never seen one before it was so good i just thought like i love that because it was like a little surprise for people mm. and it just yeah. kind of made the statement of like the attention to detail that these guys have um so yeah it's just really nice to see it i wonder if they're going to do it every game and then by the end of the season we're going to like typical blues stop wasting again. your money <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pyro no party yeah, <laughs> but yeah it, it didn't help that um baines's was closed wasn't it yeah uh, apparently there was an electrical fire apparently i think and i hope it's open for the Plymouth game because that's the that's where I usually hide my myself before the game. So um yeah. yeah, Baines is bound. Um in terms of the game, it was pretty boring. We scored at the end, one nil. Hooray. I made uh, more what pretty boring's a bit a bit hard. I don't don't think it was a I bit of we a... Went, I thought we went toe to toe. No, no, we we were the league side that were uh, uh... Yeah, it's a side that we're in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did, but it, it wasn't exactly players. all right. 
It wasn't quite 5 4, was it? Well, well it's like end to end stuff. <laughs> no, was it? I'll tell you what, we lost that game, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I came out of that log buzzing, even though we yeah. lost. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. Do. We went, like you say, we went toe to toe. I didn't think it was necessarily boring. I was up, but again. Well, I thought it was. Yeah, well said, Joe. Well yeah. said. Thought, well, yeah. you know what? You, you shut up, you. Um, <laughs> Outvoted by the yellow team. Yeah, <laughs> team yellow. Um, Do you reckon that we could like put it out there that the third kit's yellow and this is our way of well, subtly telling people? Well, I can't believe you just have told people. Oh, God, like, I have to this, edit that out, I? This was Full supposed shadowing. to be the, the treat for fans of the podcast that we were telling everybody. Imagine if it is. Gonna I'm going to dine out on this for weeks if it is. <laughs> <laughs> we told you. We saw it. What I would say about the Leeds game, obviously, I think the... The overriding feeling coming out, like, and the the people I spoke to, like, still speaking to about. I was speaking to people at Bristol last week uh, about the Leeds game, mm. and so many people. I think the overriding feeling was like they said, "Pew, you just many... fucking leave us alone." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not interested. We don't in care. Views, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like the the feeling of for, for, with 20 minutes to go, like how often. How often do we lose that game one nil with a we can see the stupid penalty or we switch off like a light on and they get the winner and and we come out of it going well we've we've matched like the, a, a good lead side mm. but we've come away with nothing but there's positives to take from it the yada 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 mm. um, and actually none of that happened and I think this is part of what like the the responsibility of of us fans now as well like. To, to try and get away from that mindset. Um, Raise we, we've spoke about it before, yeah, that actually with 20 minutes to go at home, <laughs> with when you're, you look, you have looked like a decent side in that mm. game, like don't just wait for the inevitable downfall. Actually, like believe that you can still do something and, and, and create something because we were, we were creating the better chances in that second half. Like there was... But it was that, it, but it's just ingrained in us, I think, and it's been drilled into us over God knows that how many years. That that you know we'll do okay, but eventually they'll will wilt and concede, and the, mm. the 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 other team will be the better team in the end. Um, but that was no, no, it. Never actually transpired to be the case, and you know the more the more we get through those games and, and actually win the game and 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 don't wilt and don't concede, um, then hopefully that that mindset will start to shift to actually let's keep going and push on for this winner and get behind them. Moving on to the Bristol City game, the one I did actually like is a bit more relevant. Yeah. Um, just firing through notes. First thing I wrote down was Syriki Dembele is fucking fantastic. Mm. Um, literally from kick. You off, probably wrote that down first because it was literally, it was literally the first thing that happened. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pay attention to this and make some notes. Yeah. We literally ran down the wing and scared the shit out of them. Like, it could yeah. be such a dominating tactic yeah. to have Dembele and Buchanan on one side, Laird and Anderson on the other. Mm. Like, the athleticism in this squad at the moment is right up there. And if you look at all the signings we've made, they're all athletic. They're all ready to run through a brick wall for you. We're going to run for the full 90 minutes and hope that you're knackered by 80. Um, even today, the new signing, like it's the worst kept secret in English football that we needed a striker. Yes. Um, and then we've just signed Jay Stansfield on loan uh, from Fulham for a, for a season. Yeah. Uh, again, someone who will run at them, hopefully, and create mm. a bit of something. Because as much as I like Hogan, as much as Duke is a fan favourite, like we've got all the threat in the world, but the minute it gets up to that final third or final quarter on a one final one it all falls apart yeah, yeah i think look, look hogan hogan worked very hard on on saturday i think he, you know in in both games um he, he's running off the ball he's he's consistent he doesn't really stop running off the ball um the way that we're playing the way that we're set up there's teams that have I think because maybe because of the pace of Dembele, teams are sitting back against us. There's not really much space to run into at the moment. There certainly didn't seem much against Bristol City, um, you know. And the, the balls were were coming into Dembele. In the three behind the striker, were getting the ball quite a lot, like forty yards out. So there, there didn't seem much room to run into. The only the couple of opportunities were. I think Bakuna had one in the second half where he went on his mazy run. He could have fed Hogan there. Um, but, yeah, 
And uh, at the end of that, Jew's got two from two. He's played like 20 minutes. So he's got two mm. goals. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's strength in depth as well. You know, that obviously we, we, the both of those Hogan and Duke, they're not really young, quick strikers, you know, um, so just a, a little bit, some of different upfronts will will uh, will help hopefully. But yeah, um, yeah it's a, it's, yeah. A, it's a good headache to have. Now. Hogan works well to put pressure on players, and he's good at closing down angles and stuff. Mm. But with the ball, he just I, I don't think many teams are particularly scared of him. Um, what I did write before the the Stansfield loan, um, would you try Dembele in a Phil Foden esque? not a real striker role that Man City played with before they got Haaland. Joe. False nine. I'm not asking you. Joe's the FIFA player. False nine. False nine. Joe Joe will understand this um, concept better than you, Grandad. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm uh, Don't say no, because yeah, I feel not, bad then. Not a football manager player. I'm more of a FIFA player. <laughs> but no, I mean... I don't, if I you really, had him on I full chemistry, you, Joe. I don't... Yeah, with green links. With green maybe. links. No, I... I, I'm I, I, I um, <laughs> We don't... I I don't know how he operates that like I don't think I've seen enough of him to to know if he can play kind of sent like or Miyoshi properly. I don't know if he has Miyoshi maybe but I think we need someone who's equipped for that role and is used to that role at, at a good level um and yeah I mean I totally agree with you with Hogan as well like he we've always known he's a confidence player as well um he mm. works hard and I think he, he's he's been he's been pretty useful to us in the system that we're playing very high pressing and everyone has to work in that system mm. so you know it, it's not the i feel like a true blues fan saying it but it wasn't <laughs> the be all and end all him scoring goals like he was contributing to the system and we need a goal scorer but again it had to be important that they could also play in that system they could press they're not going to be lazing about waiting for chances uh it's but i think the recruitment has been very specific for that mm. and stanfield stanfield or stansfield stansfield stansfield, stansfield. stansfield. stansfield uh, feels like that type of player from the one clip i've seen of him scoring a goal <laughs> so uh was it against us <laughs> actually i've seen two there was one one uh somewhere else but yeah I, I did see that one as well but i mean like you said, we've been crying out for a striker. We've got a striker. It's on loan. It'll probably break our heart in a year, but again, we'll be <laughs> in a much better position. Um, I'm very, very happy about it. But, you know, time is of the essence. And the one thing I will say about, you know, Dembele is really good, at, like Laird pressing as well. We've got a couple of kind of injury problems that yeah popping up at, the, at this minute. So I'd love a couple more numbers, mm. even if it's free agents or a couple more loans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodies to to replace them. Mm. We, we could do with someone, um, with all due respect to him, a bit more competent than Oakley to oh, yeah. allow Laird to rehab his injury a bit. Um, yeah, no, I don't. He's not ready. He's no, not ready. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, someone like I don't know, like a Max Collin or something. Um, broke me. Why, why would you? Why would you revert that far back? <laughs> broke my heart. Me, such mediocrity. Do yeah, you just want people. someone with experience that's going to be decent in the dressing room, can play with the press, uh, mm. isn't totally past it, but mm. is happy to be a second option. Because yeah. um, obviously, if you Matt alone, Logan, maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe you just didn't have the fitness levels for for what we want to play. But mm. you know, you get alone in, they don't really want him second. Yeah, uh, to so, Laird. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need an RB two Pew. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. we do. Good also, one. quick note: Good. How well did Bakuna play? Uh, when he got started into right back, yeah. I mean, good call. Uh, he, he, I, I, I was surprised, especially with quite quite a lot of the game left to play. But yeah, I would GC Johnny, eh? Yeah, I have to say, yeah. But I, I think you're right. You know, I, I was thinking of fifty minutes. That's that's a lot of time for Bakuna to be disciplined and not like get caught out, sort of thing. But um, he's he, like I say his fitness. Considering he's normally one of the first to be substituted, um, his his fitness was good, his discipline was good, you know, his his decision making whether when to come and when to go was good. Um, so, yeah, I was I was very impressed with Bakuna at right back. So impressed you voice noted me about it. Yeah, I did. I think that was good. Yeah, it was fun for all the family. And then, like spoiler alert, stop video calling us right as the goal goes in. 
Because when I'm flying over to Spain or Portugal to watch it on Blues TV completely... Yeah, TV, yeah, you're a little far behind. I yeah. know that there's a goal because Dickhead over here is voice calling <laughs> me. Like, at least wait a minute. Yeah. Well, what's the point? I'm, I'm basically video calling you during normal just, just flight. Just film, film it and then send us the video. We don't need a live vlog. Do what Joe does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or, or well, I'll leave pause it. He's the Pause the celebrations and I'll and I'll just yeah. keep an eye out for like a one minute late. One person <laughs> going mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm obviously... doing over there. <laughs> Not his own. <laughs> Miyoshi <Although> scored. I'm lagging. <laughs> You're lagging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miyoshi smashed home a volley that nine times out of ten would go sailing off the shin pad into mm. row Z. Um, but not, not the new modern blues that goes straight into the back of the net. What a screamer that was, Pew. Yeah, it was a great goal. Um, perfect time to score as well, just before half time. But he was, um, he had a, the the corner that he scored from, he should have scored from before, in that yeah. builder. Yeah, he should have. Um, and his left foot shot was pretty weak. That's um, true. Should we get rid of him? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, let's see if it, Sell anybody, him. anybody yeah. fancies him. But um, yeah, obviously... I, you know, him being left-footed, um, I, I thought that was we had Jota, didn't we, for a while, who's mm. who's left-footed, but his 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 shooting wasn't um, wasn't his strong point, to be, let's say. Um, and then when that corner came in and it fell to Miyoshi's right foot, I thought, well, if his left foot wasn't powerful, like well, I'm not expecting yeah. much here. And then absolutely smashes it home. So yeah, uh, but again, to um. For, to, to come on as a substitute um, and to have to fit into the game straight away, I thought he played very well as well. Performed very well. Yeah, and it, you should also note, like, um, he didn't let that missed chance get to him at all. No, yeah. like, no, yeah. You know, a lot of other players would take a touch there after yeah. missing. Like, yes. But he was like, fuck that, I'm putting my fucking laces through it. Yeah, so trust myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's just, that's the type of player he is and, he just looks like a really, really good signing. I don't want to get mm. ahead of myself, but uh-huh. I'm looking forward to seeing a bit more of him. Yeah, he's going to be a race between him, Dembele, Anderson, Sunic potentially for player of the season Ooh. at the end of all this. I'd just like to say, with the, the uh, whole... yeah, I think you're missing a man who wears a captain's armband as well every week. Who? If if the season was to finish now, I'd give it Sanderson. Yeah, I don't know. Give it. It's only been a few games. Give it. Give it time for. I just the said goals if the season was to oh, finish all right, all right. now. All right. I just. Can said... I get back to making the Sunich point? Go for it. Thank you. Are you sure? I wouldn't yeah. like to interrupt your bullshit. Yeah, yeah. no, is I that like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. yeah. I like Cheers, it. mate. Thank you. I like it. I'm a fan. Redemption season for Sunich. Yeah. Everyone now saying, "Told you so." We actually did. We, we did, actually yeah, did we tell did. you so. There is hours of YouTube footage yep, of us saying so. Sunic is not shit. He was just played in a shit team. And we banged the table for Sunic. Literally first episode of this season, before the season even kicked off, we all said, can I shock you? Sunic is going to be awesome and fit yeah. into this. And he does. Joe, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 6,000 about Ivan Sunic at the moment? Terrible writing system. <laughs> uh, probably go around a... If- 5,800 mark. Like, Good. Like, pretty, pretty, Good. pretty up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty up there. I think, um, you know, like, yeah, he's 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 been a, a tricky one, really. And I've got friends, like, I've, I've gone to quite a few away games with JJ who absolutely didn't like him at all. <laughs> and so it, it, is, it is funny to see. But, yeah, he's always, like, seemed a good player. And um, it, it seems like it's just the system. But it's, it's really good to see. He's still on high wages, but I'd love it if he could just knock a few of them few them pound coins off and sign a new contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, just the work he does, again, he fits in so well. He, he just seems to have, like, he feels like it feels like he's known Christian Bielik for a thousand years. Yeah, like, they're yeah. just so well connected. And that is the definition of a green link in mm. things. Like <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it. here so, comes those links again. There we I'll go. explain that to you later. I think, yeah. you, I think you have to give, um, as much as I'm more than happy for Sonia to be getting the credit, um, I think you have to... You have to under- appreciate, and may- maybe this may- should make us appreciate even more what a good player Bielik is, as yeah, well. Yeah. That yeah. along, you know, Sunjic can can break completely alongside like every other central midfielder that we've had, but put him alongside uh, Bielik for, like Joe said, not you know, an hour of football really. 
mm. um, coming into the season, and he, he you know, the the two look absolutely perfect together. Yeah, it's it's like he's um he's like everyone that comes into this team like that that as weird as it sounds, that energy of the team itself like. You kind of want to play for him. You kind of root yeah, for yeah. him, and I yeah. feel like the dressing room's better. And like you're looking at Sunich, his pass completion rate's just gone through the roof, yeah. um, which shouldn't, you know. And uh, the way he he kind of intercepts, like you see him sliding all over the pitch, like intercepting, playing it forward, like he's. Mm. And he, I mean, even against Swansea, like I was still in the bit of the mindset of like shitting on him. And then I went <laughs> and reflected, and I was like. He would never be in those positions anyway. Like, yeah. he, he had like three big chances, and like, yeah, he didn't take them, but he was there. Yeah, um, yeah. which which I, I heard I heard someone else say as well. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and he, yeah, it's just been amazing, man. I it's mean, the simple stuff, isn't it? It's the simple stuff he does. Yeah, it's the thing is as well. You can say about his team. They're talking about who's going to get player of the season. There's so many. There's like half the team or more. Mm. You can say, and I mean. Before there'd be like one or two players, mm. and the rest is kind of filling in the gaps. Yeah. So um, honestly, if we just had a goal scorer, like I don't think there's many other weaknesses a- across the pitch at the moment. Oh, imagine if uh, just one of them. Like imagine if we found Chadams a few years later, and just here we say, are. Yeah. But you know, yeah. it's uh, it'll happen. It's a bit sad to see him scoring for for fun at this yeah. level. Um, and he's going to be. It's all right. He's game. going to Everton soon. Still... You won't have to watch that for a while now. But is he gonna? Apparently, Apparently he's going to yeah. Everton, yeah oh so... I don't think I'll be able to take seeing him score at no. uh, St oh, Andrews, no. man. No. Well, he, at Everton, you don't see people score for a long, long time. <laughs> he should be all right yeah. there. Interesting, Joe's said about the um, uh, playing. The players actually like really get really feel like they're enjoying their football and they they're ready to play for each other and the feel good factors back. Cool. What happened in the off season? <laughs> well, I mean, a couple you see of the people difference. who left in the off season. <laughs> when Wagner was like on the end ground, like Tom Brady, and he's wearing his full suit and he's like chatting away to him, like being lovely. Yeah. And then you contrast that to to Dong with his full kit on, with his full <laughs> yeah, with yeah. Like instructions, trying to coach it. Harley yeah. Dean swearing at everyone. It's quite a different, yeah. uh, quite a different atmosphere, isn't it? Is really, really, I suppose. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've, Apparently, this um, uh, Stansfield, apparently there was about 12 other teams in for him as well. Uh, mm. He chose us out of them. Whether that is the project he's buying into, whether it's Brady, whether it's... TM. It's just everything. Like It's just, yeah. It's Why are Blues exciting? It's weird. I don't mm. like it. It's, I'm out of <laughs> my comfort zone. Like Get used to it. Get used just, to it. Drop us out the cup. Cardiff can beat us 7-0 and that no will way. bring us crashing back down to reality. And we'll, no we'll, way. We'll, either, of you, winning feeling. either of you going to the Cardiff game? Yes. I, I think so. Yeah. Tickets are quite cheap, nice aren't they? £12. Pounds. £12. Pounds. £10 pounds for season ticket holders, I think. 12 yeah. and on, yeah. Three quid. I'm never usually... It's one of them, like, uh, early round cup game at home. Like, you never... It's never busy, is it? Mm, but hopefully yeah, there's yeah. Uh, some decent-ish numbers for that. Um but yeah, I mean, it'd be great if we could get through and get a really nice draw. But I'm mm. not going to be able to get a ticket, so no. <laughs> but it, it's like, like Man City in lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Pugh said; that they could slap the Blues logo on anything at the moment, whether that's like li- a literal turd or yeah. a cup ticket. Like, I'll buy it at this point. Oh, I'm yeah. so mm. bought into the, this whole thing. Um, <laughs> Talk about a turd, that. like putting it on a turd wouldn't be great for PR. But, oh no, yeah. I'd buy it, mate. You know. I'd buy it. I'd frame it. I'd stick it in the room. I'd, I'd bring guests round to look at it. Um, Social media issues, there. I think. <laughs> you can't polish a turd, but you can put a blue sticker on it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I would tweet it. Tell it for twenty likes. quid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talking of social media, which is a completely random point, at Blues, when you know when uh, Elon Musk decided to just set fire to Twitter, and all X. the blue ticks disappeared. X. Mm-hmm. Um, Blues didn't have a blue tick for quite some time, and then I think they bought the blue tick. They've now got Wasn't the it a gold tick. They've yeah. got the gold tick. Do you know how much that gold tick is? No, a thousand pound a month. Get out of town. A thousand pound a month. Gee, so it's not like I thought it was like that's who at, who is actually verified. No, nope. Yeah. nope. I thought they were the official sports teams the, and a, stuff it, like that. No, nope. so. thousand pound a month, and then you'll see there are some people like if you look at the baggies Twitter account. 
they've mm. got like Baggies Foundation and whatnot. It's got the the gold tick. Then it's also got the Baggies logo next to it. So for it, for something insane like two hundred and fifty grand, or it's it's a big number. You can have like um, all of them under the umbrella of the sort of host account. But we've gone from BSHL being happy to just have Birmingham City with no tick whatsoever. Yeah. To Knighthead going thousand pound a month, sound pocket change, get it. Mm. And I know that's such a small thing that makes no difference to anyone's life. No. But it just it, it's the level of legitimacy. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's not for again. It's one of these things that's not for us. Is no, it's it? not. No, exactly. It's for sponsors and people who who don't really know about Birmingham, but they see the yellow tick, so they go, "Oh, that's, yeah." That's, so what I'm basically saying is, if we can all chip in and get fat lads a gold tick. <laughs> to, that's why you're wearing the yellow shirts today, lads. It's, it's that's kind of, right. This is the the real. We're going gold, drive. baby. Yeah. Thousand pound a month. We'll find that. Um, oh man, I just want the handle. I want the Brummy Joe handle. You know how long I've been trying to get that. Who's well, got it? Oh Joe? yeah, you're Brummy Joe HD, aren't you? Yeah, there's a fucking HD. I mean, H. I've had that so long. <laughs> HD's shit now. But yeah, it's <laughs> like yeah. it's a rebrand as 4K. There's a at Brummy Joe on Twitter, right? And uh, created in 2009. Yeah. No tweets, one like, 2009, yeah. and just dead account. And I'm like, I want it, give it. Do you want us to all but, message um, him? We'll just send okay. like a hate campaign yeah. his way. Nah, that had, uh, to be fair, that had, uh, I think they've just lost the password. And also, if it's <sighs> active, then there's no chance you can get it. But I don't know. That's me campaign. I'm going to try mm. and do that. Who knows? That could be the, the Wagner effect. Yeah. Maybe let's this get, year. Let's get Brummy Joey's account. Yeah. <laughs> Brummy, Brummy Joey 8K 5G. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to change it to... What's your... Why H... I don't know. Maybe I'll just put like a... Tamworth Joe. Uh, maybe. Tamworth Joe. Brummy Joe Tam. Brummy Joe mm. Tam. Mm. Brummy Jop the Jop the Brummy Joe <laughs> isn't dead. Back. Yes. Brummy Joe back. Brummy Joe's back. <laughs> Brummy Joe yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we'll the see. the Plymouth game. We've sold it out, boys. That's quite quite good, isn't it? I assume you both. It's just what we do now, guys. Just, just what we do. Sell just things out. Yeah. What we do. But Laird and Dembele aren't going to play. Purely, are we going to? So I heard. Are we going to struggle? Um. No, I don't think so. Um, I think I think if you if you stick with Bakuna and Miyoshi comes in, um, and then if Hall's fit, Hall's probably can slot straight into that uh, three behind the striker as well. Um, Stansfield obviously hope, should be Will available he be cleared, now. Do you think he should be? I think mm. with Saturday and he's signed on Thursday night, so I think that should be enough time. Um, he hasn't. He hasn't. It does. That's say, when the announcement was as yeah. well Thursday night. So he might have. He might have actually signed the the paperwork. It says it's or... still subject to league approval. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll we'll see then. Yeah. But um. Yeah. If if he is available, obviously then uh, then, then even better. But um. Yeah. I I think we we should be absolutely flying with confidence. So um. You know, not wanting to dismiss Plymouth and and what they can bring to the game, but. I'd rather focus on on what we're doing and and the uh, and the uh, the positives that we're going around with at the moment. I have seen so many Plymouth shirts, and part of the reason was because I was I was in Devon last week. Like, well, that would help. But I go yeah. to Devon or, or Devon and Cornwall quite a bit because young kids it's just easier than taking them on a plane. Yeah. Um, never ever seen a Plymouth shirt down there. I even mm. saw one round the corner from where I live the other day. Like the Plymouth fans are, are well following you. Um, obviously, I came from Devon to watch the Leeds game because I'm a true fan, and like Joe, who disappeared for two years, yeah, um, yeah. and he's now coming back to claim all. Not the just, court. not just Joe, not like just Joe, yeah, yeah, not yeah, just Joe. Just... <laughs> yeah, banish us all. <laughs> <laughs> any any sort of predictions for the Plymouth game, Joe? Are we gonna? Is it gonna be a walk in the park? Have we got a tough challenge? What do you think? Yeah, no, it's going to be a tough game. I mean, we saw we saw the way they played against Southampton. Um, mm. They're they're mm-hmm. a tricky team, and I think a lot of, a lot of people were were kind of calling it for a they were calling them for a bit of a dark horse before the season started. Um, they've got a lot of momentum going and uh, some real uh, pacey players. So the, for me, I kind of uh, I feel like at some point we're going to have a bit of a reality check uh, yeah. because things are just going so so well Ooh. and um, Ooh. Boo that man yeah, 
it'll be a tough game. You know, we ain't got Dembele, we ain't got Laird. Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to have a bit of a makeshift squad. We've still got a couple of bodies we need to get in before yeah. uh, the window closes. And, you know, if there's going to be a game where we maybe slip up, it could be this. But I'm, I, I don't know. It, for me, it could go either way. I, I mean, at the same time as I'm saying that, you can kind of look at this Blues team and go into any any game in this league and think we've got a chance yeah yeah you know it's 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 like so it's fucking hard to predict <laughs> one one, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> we've also we've also got to sort out um what well, how many subs can you have now seven nine nine subs you can't make nine no no you can have nine on the bench can you yeah yeah so we need 20 um black t-shirts um, <laughs> for, for Alfie Chang well, as well. You say so, that, you know, because he's it's very, not. Very it's going to be sixty because they're we're not putting all names on one shirt. No, <laughs> we need yeah. a different one for like they're going to have to walk out with it on. Yeah, quickly change yeah. to Laird. Quickly swap change to Chang. Swap it over. Sixty yeah. shirts. Yeah, they are, they are dramatic, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, uh, <laughs> three one Blues. Three one. Who's three, scoring? One. Um. Um. Duke will off the bench. Um, Miyoshi will, and Deion Sanderson will. Cool. I'm going two You're nil well. blues. Uh, yeah, who's scoring? Um, Stansfield both. Oh, oh. And then he won't score for ten games. Okay, that'll be blues. No, don't be putting that. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I agree, <laughs> Joe. You cut this nonsense out. No, he's not Hogan. This is it. We got to get out of this know, mindset. Yes, we got to get out of this mindset. We no, are yeah. different now. We are different. Yeah. However, draw. No. <laughs> 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 Come on, I'll take a draw. Uh, what? What? With where our team is, and then yeah, they've just come up. But um, yeah, draw. Before we go on to half time, the women played in the World Cup pew, oh. and I know you you care about that quite a lot because you followed the women's game for a very well, long time. I think we all care. Um, um, uh, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I didn't. Like, the golf is currently on my TV. I don't care about that either. It's nothing to do with it being the women's game. I just don't yeah. care about sports I don't watch. Of course, um, yeah. But yeah. I, I'm, I am glad we didn't have to see all the tweets of send a woman to do a man's job. Um, but there you go. But well, we did. But you, but what, what you could also do is you could revel in and enjoy the fact that the women have won the World Cup and in, and ignore those tweets. I could do, yeah. Well, England won the the wheelchair rugby league World Cup, and I did think of tweeting: That's if you want something done right, them. send a bloke in a wheelchair. Yeah. But I thought that might be insensitive. So and you know, yeah, um, yeah. You'd have got, you'd have got battered from. Pillars I genuinely, to genuinely wanted us to win that World Cup, even though I didn't watch yes. it. I couldn't tell you. Yes. Any results I wanted to win the last one now. for you, Chris Pugh. And oh, well, I, because you, silly, it? it means a lot to you. And I wanted to win for yeah, you. Thanks. And we didn't. And that's a we shame. Didn't. It is. Have you got any closing thoughts on the Women's World Cup that you would like to share with the world? Uh, <laughs> um, on on the day, we, we, were the, we, we were by far the second best side, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, Spain were Spain played better. They they were set up better. They looked better organised. They looked better prepared. All of those things. Like I, I thought that we should have been the side that would have looked better prepared and would have looked more ready and and all those things. But it was you know you have to I I have to give credit to Spain. They 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 were brilliant. Um, a couple of years ago in the Euros, we managed when the year we won the Euros. Um, we beat them in the quarters, I think, but we were probably the second best, the second best side that day as well. Um, but we managed to get over the line, and this time that we, you know we just we never really got going. Um, tried to make some changes, tried to make personnel and system changes, but um, you know everything we tried it didn't quite work, and and Spain had the answer to to us really. Um, they've got some world class players. Arguably the best in the world at the moment in um, in Bamati and and they, they they were they were the best side at the tournament. To be fair, they you know they faced tough opposition all the way through um, and got through difficult fixtures and and carried that all the way through to the final. So fair play to them. Um, it is a shame for for, for the English girls because you know European and world champions is something that. Um, you know, can't be said very often, mm. and not many people will ever be able to say it. So, 
Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll they'll learn. They'll they'll come back and we get another crack at the Euros in a couple of years. And you know, the the good the good thing about this side is they are still relatively young, so quite quite a lot of them will still be around for the for the next World Cup in four years. There has been some women's news today, hasn't there? There's been a, a retirement, as far as I'm aware, and crucially, there's the bar eight showing after the Plymouth game. Yeah, um, yeah. If you just want to talk about those things for us, Pierre. Yeah, yeah. Firstly, um, yeah, Keris Harrop, um, who was at Blues for uh, 20 years, might even have been 20 years in the end. Um, she she re- retired from football today. She moved to Spurs a couple of years ago to, to finish her career. But, um, yeah, a, a, a great servant to Blues over the years, FA Cup winner. Um, so, yeah, obviously wish her a, a happy retirement. Um, I'm sure she'll continue to, to be involved in football, with in coaching and things like that. So um, I'm guessing it won't be the last we see of her. And, um, yes, the Blues women kick off their season on Saturday um, away at Blackburn. I think it's at Ewood Park. But, yeah, I think the Blues are showing it after the Plymouth game in Bar 8 um, on, on the screen. So, hopefully, um, a few people stick around in, in Bar 8 and, and have a few drinks and watch Blues women kick off their season. Are you sticking around for it? I think I will, actually, yeah, yeah. Because mm. I'll, I'll only bugger off to the to the pub and watch it on the phone or try and get off home early and watch it um watch it at home so uh so yeah it makes sense to to give the give the club a bit more money in, in with a yeah. few drinks and uh and watch it in the bar yeah i may join you potentially oh, I, cool. I, I, shall, I look forward to I it shall see. I yeah shall got see. To, um yeah i was just gonna add on from from that as well like from because i know Mark, you're not into you know, the women's game, and few you are very much. Like it's been, um, it's been an interesting one for me because I've found myself getting a lot more into it. Obviously, they won the Euros, and I went and watched that in uh, in like field in Tamworth. They had a big screen up and everything. But then yeah. I was like, this year, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to watch it, and I got really into it. And the difference is, like now, it makes such a difference knowing who the players are and like yeah. who you're kind of rooting for. And then That's I'm feeling exactly that it. kind of drip down into okay like now i know you know like i'm gonna watch man you i want to see like what ella toon's doing i want to see what lauren james like all these it's just a bit more interesting and then so i'm thinking with blues uh i again hadn't really looked into it at all but i was just looking this morning i was even on like wikipedia looking at like the england players who'd previously played for blues because i knew they were good yeah like they won the fa cup and that and i was like you know kind of what happened and why have we dropped down so much and then you know run us up last year and i'm thinking maybe we can bring we can come back again and start to be a team like when maybe next time when we see um england at, at the euros like a few of them will be blues players as yeah. be the aim but yeah it's, it was interesting uh, i watched it i actually went to the pub at, um to watch the final at a look was it like 11 and yeah. it was a great setup right you're watching I hadn't really had this combo before, but I had a cup of tea, a full English breakfast, and, a full, yeah, and it was yeah, just, yeah. it was just beautiful. And it the was the joys of having the World Cup in Australia. Mm-hmm. That is it. Yeah, it was. I mean, throughout for the for the group games and that, it weren't the best. And like you know, middle of your work day at yeah, half yeah. nine or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's it's not too bad. You kind of it, you know, it would have been nicer to have a few beers at the pub on the evening. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I think all in all, they did us proud. Yeah, yeah, it's that um, the recognition thing is is massive for me. Like that, I think that's why it's like I I love cricket, absolutely love cricket, but I won't watch Gloucestershire versus Lancashire. Um, I mm. just I after I'm busy, I suppose. I pick and choose the things <laughs> against, but I'm not gonna lie and pretend that I'm really into it just for a podcast because I'm just not. But but yeah, Pew yeah. is and, and Pew knows these things, and Joe, you went and watched it, so it's yeah. just better to let you two talk. Joe's to right as well about the exposure, yeah. though the, the oh, exposure 100%. that you know that's but that's that's everything that the FA have have worked towards for the last like ten years or so. You know that that they fast tracked Man City into the into the top division because they knew that Man City had spent money put, and yeah. the and it would get it would make waves and it would make news. And they they were desperate for Man U to to you know to to reinvest in their women's team and recreate their women's team and and they came through into the top tier 
and now the top the top tier is basically the 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 big six in the men's game you know plus plus villa and everton and and you know those sorts of teams and it, that sort of exposure that that it was sort of i think it was always the fa's like vision to to mm. sort of make a, a a female premier league if you like so that they could sell it and once they've sold it once it's on sky once people start noticing and as joe said once you start getting a successful england side and you can start identifying these players and go oh, okay you know uh, you know joe f- first one joe mentioned ella toon i'm guessing you know what I, I know she's really uh really busy on her socials and she's a great character and that sort of stuff and it you know it gets people interested and oh this, this ella toon's like plays for man united in england but also she seems like a really good character a really cool person and you know you want to you want to follow her and and want her to do well on on that side as well. Absolutely, yeah. the more people there are enjoying things, the better. Enjoy that, stuff. Like, enjoy stuff. Let people enjoy stuff. Absolutely. Like, Apart from cricket. Man, no. <laughs> how do I kick Joe out of this? <laughs> right. It's right. Move... It's right. He'll be like dead. That. He'll be dead. Yeah. Soon, he'll, he'll yeah, fuck off again for two what? years time. <laughs> Once we go. <laughs> <laughs> when we lose 7 0 to card, if that'll be the end yeah. of Rummage Up. Yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> we move on to half time. Now, Pew, do you want to do Pew Ponders first or do you want to do Stony Sings the Blues first? You're the host, Mark. You tell me. Good question. Shall we do. Let's do Pew Ponders first. Okay. No, no, no. It's a quick, it's a relatively quick oh, one. Oh, go on then. Let's do Pew yeah. Ponders. Okay. okay. Right. So um, this week, obviously, a relative. Against my normal tack this week, it's a it's a relatively uh, serious one. Um, <laughs> right, I want to give I want to give a shout out this week uh, for my pew ponders to uh, Norwich fan Nathan West. Oh yeah, okay. Now Nathan are we supposed West, to make jokes about that? You we'll try. Have a go <laughs> if you want. Brilliant. Good luck. Good luck, Mark. <laughs> no. Have a go. Um, Nathan West is thirty one years old. Um, he spent his Sunday. Joe was in the pub with his um, breakfast, with, with his full English and cup of tea, watching the final. Uh, Nathan West was outside Carrow Road on on that Sunday morning, um, and he ended up doing a piece for the Pinken, which I, I, I don't know if that's a podcast or just like a local radio thing. Um, but he was on camera uh, about a minute or so interview. Um, and he gave his views on the upcoming Norwich game. I think they were at home to QPR, I think it was. Um, he gave his views on the season so far, what they've done in the transfer window and the Women's World Cup final, which he said he was going to watch and I then listen like to. I feel like know where this is going. Carry on. I don't think you do. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is a genuine... This, this is out of the box. Oh, is this the, actually this, genuinely... This, the genuine heartfelt thing. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll try and make it funny after. Carry on. Okay. Uh, so there he was, standing proudly in his Norwich shirt. Um, you could tell he's a little bit nervous. Um, and, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to be, like, braggy here or anything, but, like, there's three guys here that are used to speaking, like, on, on camera or being behind a camera or doing a bit of content. Being on um, Yeah, maybe being on talk TV. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> But, um, but, you know, there he was, maybe not used to speaking in front of camera. Um, he was uh, maybe overthinking your answers a little bit. Um, you know, and, and it is, it's, it's not easy. Um, and it's not as easy as I make it look sometimes. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, you know, and there is a modern day pressure of if you're going to say something on camera, um, people are going to comment on it with social media. You know, you know it's going out on social media. And, and there is that added pressure um, that every Tom, Dick or Harry thinks that they know better than you or that they're going to disagree or agree with you. Uh, I don't mind that. If you want to disagree with your, our footballing opinions, you know, we've stated on this show many times that a lot of what we say is our personal... Everything that everything. we say is our personal opinion. <laughs> Absolutely everything. And, and a lot of it might be rubbish because Most of it. We're, not, we're not like professionals. We're not coaches. We don't know the game inside out. It's just our opinion at the end of the day. So we can... Hand, I can... Me personally, I can handle, you know, people disagreeing with my I opinion. Uh, it doesn't happen very often because I am very <laughs> knowledgeable and wise. But um, that is... You know that is the nature of, of the business. If you're going to come out on camera, then people might disagree with you. But this lad, you know, 
poor guy, he gets vilified and ab- abused on Twitter because of his looks, um, which, you know, it's, it's totally unnecessary and it's totally uncalled for, obviously. Um, but it was the good side of Twitter, it was the good side of mm. social media afterwards that a lot of people jumped to his defence straight away, um, obviously, you know, dismissing what the, the trolls were saying, um, but also... Um, the, he's doing a half marathon um, mm. in October, raising money for Macmillan Cancer Research, and he wanted to raise 500 quid for this uh, for charity for this race, and it's now over 50,000 pounds that he's raised for it, um, which is it's fantastic, and it's everything that social media, it's everything I like about social media. Yeah. You know that there's this Norwich fan who nobody had heard of before. And he goes on, you know, just just living his life, talking about, like you just said, enjoying what he does, talking about what he likes. Um, and yeah, and he, he never asked for any of that abuse yeah. and stuff like that. Um, so good on Nathan West. Um, good on the people who uh, who defended him, and good on everybody, obviously, who who did it for, um, who raised the money for Macmillan Cancer Research. Um, as for the trolls. Um, I blame one sole thing uh, on on this situation. Go on, and that and that is India's spice program. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> sending us sending some spacecraft to the dark side <laughs> of the moon? Like, uh, just listen to that. <laughs> have a think about what you've just done. You've like one in ten people have no access to clean water in India. And you've wasted all that fucking money sending a spacecraft to the dark side of the moon. Can you imagine uh, the the Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in nineteen in the sixties? It's one small step for man, one small step for mankind. The, in, in the Indian space program, must be guys, guys. This is incredible. We, you've we've landed on the dark. What's it like up there? I don't know. I can't fucking see a thing, mate. I'll pick up the torch. It's, it's, fucking cold and i can't see anything get me home <laughs> get me what home. a waste of time and money what's stop, that got... ex- stop exploring we've been through this stop it what's it's that enough. got to do with trolls it's a, it doesn't matter it's enough <laughs> it's enough we, we've seen enough and we've explored enough we know enough now Right, I don't need to know what's on the dark side of the moon. What kind of rock is on the Surely dark side of the Pink moon? Surely, Pink Floyd have already interested. discussed this, and that, exactly. that's solved. Like exactly, that's the only dark side of the moon that is that is relevant anymore. Just Do you know where I thought you were going? Okay. Can I tell you where, where I thought you were going with it? Go on, go on. I thought you were going to end up saying, and that's yeah. why we should stop taking the piss out of the Bromsgrove Lions. Oh, uh, oh no, no! I let, thought that's where you were let's going. Let's keep doing that. Let's, Never. I repeat, Absolutely. never. Stop is that. there a difference? You dance like that. You danced with us. What? He basically sexually assaulted that storm stroke. <laughs> one of them actually did. Like, yeah, have well, you seen? Exactly. Like, one of them actually has been a convicted. Correct. Like, yeah. Yes. Um, but is there yeah, a difference yeah. between people taking. Like, this is where. <laughs> this is going to be yeah, controversial. Nobody's, nobody's, this is... nobody's taking the piss out of what that guy looks like. Nah. Like, he's, he's, doing, he's doing a weird, weird dance. Why, why, why is in, it? With a stormtrooper. I'm not saying we should be allowed to take the the piss out of people like uh, as we like, but yeah. what's the difference between the Norwich fan getting the piss taken out of him and Bromsgrove Lions getting the piss taken out of him? Other than the fact okay. that we're Blues fans, because the main it, people who took the piss out of the Norwich guy were Ipswich fans. Yeah, is the difference right? On, shoot. Um, what one is um, taking the piss out of someone for something that they can't change and it isn't anything that they've done, and the other one is for actions such as taking profile pictures like. <laughs> uh, like th- the thing is, I think it's fair game if you're taking a piss out of someone for something mm. that they've gone out and said I'm going to do that today like yes. to, a, to a level like obviously don't be that much of a dick yeah. and if it's clearly affecting someone blah 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 but if you just go in a, a, and someone can't change something about themselves and yeah. you're just ripping into them then that that's lad like, has literally just spoke about shit. football for a minute <laughs> yeah. you know he, 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 he's it like would we? You, I mean, I'd I'd like to hope that we. I know there are Ipswich fans like we wouldn't do that. I'd There's imagine there'd be a couple line, of yeah. trolls. Yeah. That, like there's trolls everywhere, and yeah. that ultimately the people that don't have a profile picture that it's like you know, uh, Stansfield. Oh, 
Whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah. like Brummy Joe HD or something random. Yeah, like Brummy that. Joe HD with like some blue some cartoon, cartoon drawing like his face. Okay, like, okay, yeah. Absolute just going on and commenting things. But you know, it's yeah, trolls are a problem and they mm. are everywhere and they are in every club and but I think the positive that you can take out of it is that the good outweigh the bad. And yeah, that's definitely that, you know, we, we aren't gonna be able to stop trolls. But it shows that, like, if you take action, like, and and reply and just be like, "fuck, fuck off" to the trolls, yeah, um, then a good things can happen. And mm. I'm sure he feels a lot better now than he did before because of all mm. that all that positive stuff. And he ain't going to be thinking about what a few trolls said. Hopefully, he'll be thinking, "I've raised fifty grand, absolutely." Which is no, nuts. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, With, yeah, fair play to everyone involved, man. Yeah. Do you think that fifty grand, any of it, is going to go to India? To help solve the Fucking lack of water. Oh, the water. lack of water, maybe. Yeah. Right, mate, well, or do you think they'll just send it straight up to the dark side of the moon and go, cheers for this? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. We're off I'm to not, see the. I'm, I'm not giving see. any more money to India. No way. Uh, no way. Are you, are you saying it was the Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get David no Cottrell on the, on the phone and we'll, uh, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> right, should we do Stoney Sings the Blues? Stoney Sings the Blues. It's all about Duke. It's all about Duke, baby. It's all about Duke. It's all about Duke, baby. Yesterday he scored a goal, and I know it's true. And I said, with a smile, it's all about Duke. Right. <laughs> initial thoughts on that, Pierre? Price. Um, <laughs> initial thoughts. Uh, I think look, I think it was called It's All About Duke. I think. Yeah, I'm not like sure. I yeah, think. I picked up on the nuance of that. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I have to respect the fact that he's allowed the cameraman to get up off the floor. <laughs> Uh, and take a helicopter ride apparently um around the room <laughs> so great much better camera angle um you know angles on point brilliant stuff um as for the tune um is that McFl- mcfly it isn't McFly, it yeah yeah it's yeah. all about what duke. he's done is he's changed you to duke yeah you see. see the problem is <gasps> that would work so much better if it's With all about Pew. Pew. yeah it would, um yeah. i might we, use it next we, week we, it would, <laughs> say it in the same way it's yeah yeah all about Pew. Pew. <laughs> um fill the gap stony that's that's a, that's you my, need some back that's and my musically that's critical, you know, advice. That should be yeah. your jingle for your section. <laughs> Fill, the <gaps. laughs> Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps, Tony. Yeah, there's there, there's too much dead air. Um, <laughs> where and, and I'm not sure that works mm. if, if, when you're trying to get the stadium really bouncing. You and could do with up in the tempo, tempo really. Around. No, yeah. no, I'm not having that. Have you yeah. never uh, seen a Davina moment? Like a Davina moment ever. Well, no, big brother, like, who's it all about? <laughs> who's it all about? It's about? all about who? who? Who's it about, Stony? Tell me, tell me who it's about. Yeah. Building up the excitement. You've got, I see you've what got he's got doing. Rush these things, Pew. Yeah, there's yeah. different ways of looking at it, Pew. That's the thing. Yesterday he scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean he scored two, so you could sing that. Yeah, yesterday he scored a goal. It's very unlikely that we're going to be playing the day after that's he true, scored actually. a goal. Yeah, that's the trouble. That's, ah, Hold on. That's... Has, has anyone has anyone tried playing it on like 1.5 two times speed? Because you imagine, just... so <laughs> imagine <laughs> do it and it's like Buble. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine. Good. Yeah. It's like he's or reverse backwards. engineered it. Or play it backwards. <laughs> like the Beatles track when they say that it's, they... It's, it's slow. Or, or McCartney's slow. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's slow and low, so if it's it sped like up, it's like Shakira. some could be drum gorgeous. and bass tune. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Tony and I beat the next week. About you, baby. Joe. Well, let, let's look at the league so far. So we've only had one entry. Mm, yeah, uh, let me find the league. Number one is "Don't You" by yeah. Stony Tom Tom Stone. Um, yeah. Out of ten, what would you give it? 
Joe. Mate, no. What, don't you? No, 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 don't, no, don't you? Well, got, it got like three can, points something, so... Can you say, like, what player was it about? Because we used to have that for Parnaby, didn't we? Oh, yeah, oh, it was let, Dembele. Let me do, don't, don't you wish you your wing go, was go, Dembele. We need, we, no, save it don't for a player you? where the word fits. It's just yeah. trying to squeeze a square into a yeah. circle. Yeah, oh, I agree. I don't know. Yeah. Round peg. Ratings out of 10 uh, for... Um, out of 10? Whatever this was. It was... Uh, it's all about Duke. It's all about Duke, that's it, yeah. I don't Difficult feel like one. he means it. I'm going to go five. Five? Oh, that's quite high be- for this. It's better, than, <laughs> it's better than Don't Cha because Don't Cha, uh it's not original. No. This mm-hmm. has got originality points. There were more I than six give... words in this one. There were yeah, more words in this one. <laughs> and the camera angle's better. I'm I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a five as well. Five as well. Can I actually share some with you? Yeah, yeah, go. I, it's I, a safe space. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep the other night. Right. Oh, here we go, I was just. I was just it, in my head doing just. I don't know why. I couldn't sleep, and I uh, did a did a little song about uh, Dembele. Actually, oh, do you, you want did? me to share yes. it? With you? Yes, I do. Oh, Maybe we should make this. I actually thing. wrote. I actually wrote it in my notes. So I thought I'll make yes. it. Yes. Um, I'm not going to sing this it. Is go on, sing it. it. This has definitely been set up by you. No way. Where is it? This just... No, hold on, wasn't it? No, it's not been set up at all. Like genuinely, genuinely I couldn't hasn't. sleep, and I, and, I, and I found the first line, and I was like, "That kind of works." <laughs> and so then I did like the whole bit. Yeah, um, that's normally how I live my life. But <laughs> fine, yeah. Hold on, it's got to be here somewhere. Uh, let me just, just search. Well, while while oh. you're finding it, um, obviously the competition is for viewers and listeners to write their own song. Yeah. Um, Send it, it to us, email it to us at um, fatladspodcast at gmail.com. Uh, yep. We're going to pick the two best winners to win a blue shirt, but mm. we now can't get the blue shirt. You might, because... you might get a blue shirt. Well, DH yeah. gate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I spoke to Luke Stokes. This competition is all thanks to Luke Stokes and LW Digital, yeah. um, our, our new sponsor, and they are fucking fantastic. You'll see their logo on, on the screen um, when I go to a, a solo screen. Um I'm speaking to Luke, and we're finding something else. We don't know whether it's going to be two tickets for a game, or there's the KRO shirts, or oh, yeah. the, there's Popular. other stuff in the club shop. That we'll sort out with Luke. The the two tickets I like, but most people watching this are probably season ticket holders anyway, um, so it wouldn't really benefit them, whereas a, a shirt would. Um, yeah. So keep sending your entries in. We have had some brilliant, some absolute stonking entries. Next week's show, we've got... Nice spe- to hear them. We're not going to say who it is just yet, but we've got a special guest referee coming on uh, yeah. who's going to decide the two winners. Um, and we'll, like, literally the whole second half next week is going to be renditions of these songs. There mm. are some brilliant ones. Um, yeah. But, yeah, please still send your entries in, fatladspodcast at gmail.com, uh, or you can DM them to me. Don't DM them to the Fat Lads account because um, I don't really want the other fat lads to know who they're by just yet or have like a sneak peek of them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Joe, you got your song. You could enter this in the competition, Joe. It's up for grabs if someone wants to take it and make it <laughs> It's there. up for grabs uh, there's now! A tra- there's a transfer fee in here, and I don't even know if it's accurate, <laughs> but it's basically, it's, it's, it's to the tune of A-Team. You've got to sing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... It's, oh, no, and they good. say he's Siri Key Dembele. <laughs> Spins you going. like a Beyblade. Been this way since 18, but lately he's crazy. Skill moves, they amaze me. And they say he was basically free to us. Cost less oh. than 800 grand. <laughs> Dribbles past a couple man. <laughs> uh, mm, he mother. scores goals outside. The, the box. box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you, yeah, yeah. And on the night, he'll travel to Sunderland. Oh! And not mega couple, man. Mm. He scores goals. <laughs> Outside. Dembele's the guy. Very when, did, when did JK very, very come in? Good, oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, let's go, man. The man. Can, can we put that in this? Maybe we should have a guest. Not Meg in a guess couple, that, man. Is that... Is that is it that would than probably five. win you a shirt, I'll be honest. It's better than it's better fucking Stoney, anyway. <laughs> All right, yeah. I will take that. It's funny, I I'm lo- glad I've used that because I, I, I love I, I love that you sleep. wrote that down, down in your notes and it's just sat on your phone. You've done nothing with it, but you're like, no. I like oh. this, I'm going to write it down and just keep it's it. There, why no, not? My, my notes, mate, ridiculous. I've you got never like know when you're going to need it. 
<laughs> r- r- absolute rubbish. I've got a Mackie's code from 2011 for the, for oh, the security door. I haven't tried it. You won't be able to use so. that anymore. You won't be able to. Yeah. No, it's just to get in the door. Oh, I want, oh, oh, yeah, I I want to work there. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, Pew, who knows? ratings yeah. out of 10 for the A-team, Dembele. Uh, Dembele. Uh, I'll give it... Um, I'll, I'll give it a 7.4. That's disrespectful. I'm giving that a 9.5. Oh, I'd whoa! Like a six. Nine, a six, nine. Nine. No. That, what Don't we'll do, we'll set up a guest that. league as well, and we'll make every guest come on and do their own song. Okay. That was uh, very good. Um, right, I just <laughs> want to thank, take a moment to thank all our sponsors. So there's Libby Mays, Little Angels, there's Blues Trust, there's Accessi Blues, there's Stationery and Print Centre, there's the GMU on Facebook, the only Facebook page I'm willing to go on, uh, and LW digital um thank you for everyone especially lw digital doing the competition at the moment um we move on to the second half which is sponsored by accessi blues they've got their excess brews with accessi blues coffee morning every tuesday at sedgemere sports and social club 10 30 to 1 go down meet the lads and lasses they're absolutely top 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 people um right second half this will either be funny or terrible we're yeah. about to find out which. I feel like I say that most weeks, most second yeah. halves. So we're either going to, like, yeah, it will live or die. I'll like, change you know. our mindset, Mark. <laughs> I believe that it's going to be This a, will be uh, funny. Yeah. If not, I'll put You're a laugh track behind it. You're going to make me rethink it. my entire career. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to attempt to vlog some memorable moments. So I've asked Pew and I myself have found two memorable, memorable moments each. And yep. we are going to attempt to vlog them as if we were there. If that makes sense, so Brummy Joe does it live. We're doing it. We're doing retrospective vlogging. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I think. Pew, would yeah. you like to embarrass yourself first before I attempt it myself? Yeah, I can give it a go. Yeah. 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 Are you going to uh, tell us what it is, or are you just going to vlog it? And... No, I think I think it'll be pretty obvious what pretty it obvious. is. Go on yeah. Um, yeah. So. I would. Oh, you won't hear it. Do you it. do it like this, Joe? Do you <laughs> landscape? Oh, oh. Uh, I do. Yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be with this one. Well, yeah. they don't let me in the ground with a camera anymore, so I have to use my phone. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it's, tend to. It's part of the. Uh, it's part of the. Uh, I not... tend to. I, te- I tend to not go like this because I get people behind me. So I like to get a really nice angle of my yeah. chin oh, no. and, oh, my, yeah. and my oh, nostrils. That's... So if, if you aim it right, hold on, I'll just get... stony, just, just stony, stony off the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Now get right at the nostrils. Having yeah. a lovely That's time. The... I assumed you like just strapped a GoPro to your head or something. You yeah, know, have like that. that's the thing. I, I get really conscious of people beyond. I don't want people in the video that don't want to be in a video. No, so yeah, I'm always yeah. like fucking this. Like, yeah, mm, that's a good goal that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy with myself. Um, I need to blow my nose. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna use this screen. Are you gonna pretend that's your phone? That this is the maybe phone. you should put your hand up to the camera as if you're. Maybe right. sell it like that. I mean, you're right. miles off of my screen, but yeah, oh, well, it makes no. you happy. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to bother then. All right, just go for right. it. Right, okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, the atmosphere's great. Um, oh, oh, throwing coming. Oh, it's time for, the, it's time for a corner. Um, no, just, off, just stop, stop you there two secs. Joe, is yeah. that anything like what you do? <laughs> probably is. Yeah. Are, probably are, is. are you commentating as we go along? Like, no, no, actually, no. I am... Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I kind of. Uh, I will then. Do it, do it, and then I'll. You'll I'll critique you know. it after. I'll, that's I'll, that's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're here for. We want to venture okay. into the vlogging yeah. world and we need you to. Sorry, Pierre, yeah. I rudely interrupted. Continue. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll start we'll again start. if you want. Yeah, to. yeah. Uh, right, throw into Villa. Throw into It's all oh, well played. Sound for a corner, good defending. Piss off, Greeley, shit, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pop, pop. Yeah. It, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, look, someone's coming on the pitch. <laughs> Dave, someone's coming on the pitch. Someone's coming on the pitch. Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Um, is, he, is he just? Him? <laughs> I, 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 I think, I think. Well, Grealish is on the floor. <laughs> uh, oh dear, they're taking him away. Um, I think someone's just punched Grealish. <laughs> yeah! Get out of the fuck off, Yeah, get out of here, son! Um, that was really good. Did you not a... shout and cheer because your missus will go mad at you if you wake her up? Yeah, effectively, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought so. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a caring neighbour. you got to think about it at this, this time. Was that by any chance the Paul Mitchell punch? 
It was it was uh, oh, Birmingham City versus Aston Villa. Um, yeah, and a pitch invader ran on the pitch and punched Jack Grealish. Who we that saw was that like now? Moment. Is that right? No, I don't. You, no, you can, still don't. I, I, I do. Um, I don't I, care I, if he's I, nice to blind girls. <laughs> Joe, did you vlog that? I did. Time? Was that anything like <laughs> views? It was very similar, wasn't what, it? What, which was better? Do you think? Um, probably. Probably pews. Probably pews. <laughs> I'd, I'd had about eight points before. Oh, and, no, yeah, uh, yeah. So my judgment was kind of delayed. I had a bit of the lag that you get in Spain. <laughs> and then I was kind of like, yeah, that's a bit bad actually, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah. Uh, Are I'll you just gutted it... that you didn't run on and punch him first? <laughs> I mean, no, it's not really my cup of tea. I think fighting in football bag. in general is it's just, just pretty stupid. But. That's my take. Um, We're lovers, not fighters. Exactly. I am neither. <laughs> oh, good. No. Um, Incel Joe I'll... HD. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon. I reckon. I, I was expecting like a goal celebration, so you kind of come at me with a bit of a curveball. Yeah. I thought when you said throw in Villa, I thought you were going to go yeah. like Melbourne. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, That's but, why I you know, started it like that. To... Yeah, you, you kind of. Caught me up what is, it's not really the Ankleman goal. I, I like it. I, I believed you were there. I believed yeah. Dave was there. Um, yeah, yeah. He's just over my shoulder, <laughs> sits over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dave. yeah, I'll give that a solid <laughs> seven, eight. Ooh, I'll give it oh, eight. eight. I'll you've give gone it high eight. with that, Joe, because wow. you're, um, you're going to need to rethink your your scores once you hear mine, mate. Well, I've got, I've got. <laughs> you, I can't see you though, so I've got, I've got to imagine. I've got to imagine oh, it. I'll sell it with my voice, don't worry. Okay, all right. Right. <clears throat> Here we go. So imagine the, the crowd noise and me holding the camera. Uh, right, yeah. right. It hasn't really been our day today, I'll be honest. It, it's obviously not our main local derby, but still, you, you don't want to be losing to Wolves. Um, can't massively fault the lads today. Like Ground's been pretty solid, as per usual. Started out well. Shay's early goal. Floodgates seem to... Oh, fuck's sake, seem to have opened. And there's a huge gaping hole down the right. Again, there it is again. Cottrell stopped to adjust his tinfoil hat. He's just let everyone run through him yet again. I'm sick of it, to be honest. Oh, no. Like, it just seems distracted today. A plane went by 10 minutes ago, and he stood there pointing at the condensation trails, looking like <laughs> a dog puzzle by its own farts. Three, to three times today, he's grabbed his sports bottle and squealed because it's the same shape as a needle. I'm fucking sick of this. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, as soon as this property investment, it, like, he's got me involved, it pays out, I'm done, I'm fucking out with him. Anyway, good news is, I can see him coming on, our wonder kid, he's just come on, there's big hopes for this kid store. I, I tell you now, he's <laughs> oh, smashed no. it in pre-season. He's had a bit of a cameo against Cardiff, but this is his time to shine. Everything I've heard about him is fan... Fuck's sake. <laughs> <sighs> what's up? So, what's, what's up, Mark? <laughs> There's been a red card at Andrews. <laughs> I, think there, I think there might have been. The ball's come over. Tom, Tommy Kay's kicked it. And, oh, so fucking. Polish Tom Zoofed it up. Straight to story. He's fouled him. He's got up. He's headbutted him. He's got a red card. He's been on for seven, seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes, Jack. That was phenomenal. The ball's come to him. He's, he's brought down by, by Courtney Hawes. He got straight up. Face in his face he's planting with a headbutt that Zidane or Vinnie Jones be proud of and oh look he's fucking booted the advertising boards he's limping he's limping he's being helped off that's a foot injury that's him done I mean I, I guess it, it just shows some youth products go to Real Madrid some go to Sunderland some end up at fucking Bruno's magpipes it's a shame it's a real shame scene very good very good Mark do you feel like I, I feel like I was, it was too talky and less there in the moment yeah, yeah, it's giving me. It's it's giving. It it's wants more to start too than, often, you know. It, it felt a bit, yeah. It felt a bit reporty but, rather than vloggy. Yeah, but, it was. Mm. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit. Yeah, criticizing more, Joe. Criticizing more. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna say though, like you've brought up a wonderful memory. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so I will give you a point extra for that. So I'll give you six uh, overall, which is fairly decent, fairly okay. Mm. Um, Wait, what did you get? Eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, he said like six things over a whole yeah, fucking it's, book. It's, it's yeah, quality, not quantity, Mark. Quality. Yeah, it's it's you know sometimes it helps brevity. Yeah. You didn't have Dave in the background. 
Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Dynamic. All right. I'm going to mention oh, You Dane lost me a bit. I was on a... Yeah, yeah. The breadcrumbs. I lost the breadcrumbs. But... Yeah. What a, I mean, have you ever seen a flop like that? Have you ever seen a flop like that? That's got to be the most, like, biggest fall from grace, considering pre-season he was, like, Ronaldo. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Oh, he's off. Oh, yeah. But no, a great effort, both of you boys. A little round of applause. Give yourselves Thank a you. pat on the back. Bit, bit and you the, can the, be who did me there, but... vloggers. Usually you need a five-year uni degree and well, a master's and all that shit, but... I've, I've got my... Just sticking uh... it to the man. I'm confident in my second one. So, Pew, give us your second one. And... Yeah. My oh, you second... two. You oh, yeah, yeah. Got another, one. Oh. Got, another, got another one. Yeah, yeah. I got another one. Um, uh, this one, this one, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's another glorious moment in uh, Birmingham City's history. Um, uh, but you, you sort of, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just do it. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, come on, mate. I'll 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 got, the... Dinner's gone cold now. <laughs> I'll paint the picture of it now. Um, <laughs> Here we are, guys. Here we are. We're uh, we're in the away end at St Andrews. This is mental, isn't it? It's my seat's over there, normally. <laughs> Where's Dave? No, Dave! <laughs> oh, I'm Dave! Dave! Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm down here. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so sorry. We're here at uh, uh, St Andrews. Coventry uh, are in the home end, and we're all in the away end. It's crazy. God, the atmosphere is unbelievable. This is going to be such a great day. I can't wait for this game. We've got Blues fans everywhere, but we're all in the away end. It's mental. The game's about to kick off. I'll report back at half time. Oh, this is really, really shit. Um, <laughs> Christ, this is dull. Uh, all we keep singing is shit ground, no fans. And what you're doing in our seat, what you're doing in our seat. It's uh oh god, it's a boring game though. It's a real struggle. It's a cup game and I'm not really interested. I'll come back at full time. My god, I can't believe I've just sat down for ninety minutes of that. What an absolute joke. And you know the worst thing it's a fucking cup game and we've got to play a replay. We've got to do this all over again and we're just gonna swap seats. What a waste of time this has been everyone. Um worst January of my life um, <laughs> and I'm very tired and I'm going to go home um, and I hate this book. Do you know, I still have the programme from that game because I thought one day this might be worth something and it was like the worst game in history. It was, but the whole yeah. build-up was incredible and it, it was, was yeah. like... We went oh, mad about it on this podcast. Texting, nothing. T- texting mates, oh, where are you sitting? Where are you sitting in the away <laughs> yeah. Like, What seat are you in? Oh, yeah, I'm in the Gilmer Lower. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> and it was exciting. the worst game of football I've ever seen. How exciting can a bunch of grown adults get <laughs> no, yeah. in a different seat in the same in building? Your, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here for it. I was absolutely there for it. But yeah, yeah. you've nailed that. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> Dave Dave was sitting up in the yeah, Gilmer Dave. I yeah, I mean, that you've used Dave. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you've, you've, you've been heard Dave level. got good feedback. And, yeah, you know, I yeah, think yeah. It's, uh, 7.5 for that. It's a good Thanks, scenario. Man. Thanks, man. But I can't can't be recycling Dave too. I'll take that, to be fair. Could have gone for Phil, you know, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Phil don't sit next to me. Phil don't sit next to me in the other one, though. Yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> Before I move on to my second, just to the Jack Storer thing, do you know if you type Jack Storer into YouTube, it auto-populates red card afterwards? Oh, is that the first thing that Genuinely, comes up? Genuinely, yeah. yeah. Like, it... it, it Fills the sentence for you. Um, wow. Joe, when were you born? 1995. Right. This was before your time, so this is me losing points already. Um, Here we go. This is going to be another one that's too wordy. I now realise I've written too much. I've done it too much like a commentator, but, you know, what? Yeah. It, we're in it. Well, I'm, 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 all, I'm all for it. Right. Imagine a, a raucous crowd. Got to say, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Pasadena I'm here with the Colombian fans who are a little bit rowdy to say the least they they, they carry somewhat of a reputation for drugs and drunken antics but oh, they're a lovely <laughs> lovely bunch of lads all of them <clears throat> anyway after losing 3-1 to Romania the boys really could do with a win against USA here and to be honest hopes are high <clears throat> very high um, it's not looking great here though um, the Americans on the break John Harks has the ball and he puts it oh no Escobar's tried to clear it. He's oh, put no. it in. 
Oh, that is criminal. He should be shot for defending like that. <laughs> Parks has rifled that across, and Escobar's fired that into his own net. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> this could spell the death of Colombia's chances here. Any hopes of Colombia making the knockout stages of... They've gone straight out the window and in any hopes of Andreas Escobar seeing his 28th birthday have swiftly <laughs> followed them. Um, that is shocking. He'll want to go into hiding after seeing that replay and certainly shouldn't go visiting any nightclubs in Medellin anytime soon. Um, he really will, will run the ground to swallow him up right about now, which is fortunate. Very good. Very, Very good. good. Again, it's, right it's, it's a writer. It's a writer. I do know the game. Uh, yeah, I looked at I think it was after I watched Narcos. I've seen that, but could have been. Yeah. Uh, oh, that makes sense. It probably, maybe it could have been, or else I just read it somewhere online. But yeah, I I, I think it was good. Oh, okay, it's, 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 it's a match report. Yeah, but I'll, give, I'll give you six. Yeah. I had one joke and I just did that until it you ran died. with it. Yeah, <laughs> incidentally, you started by <laughs> sniffing and you thought, "How can I work around this?" Yeah, see what you've done. No, all right. I had two jokes. I had, the, I had the sniffing one. I had all the the gun references towards yeah. the end. I yeah, got him. I got I said him. bang was... six times. He was shot six times. Yeah. Like, what more do you need yeah. from me, Joe? What more do you need, oh, Joe? Specifics. Yeah, it's very yeah. I'm but, sorry, okay. I can't give him more than a five for a match report, Joe. Fuck off. Yeah, it's a, it's a match report. You're going to be giving me match ratings and yeah. stuff, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's more of a blog. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll teach you how to do it, Mark. Yeah, there I'll you go. You then. You've got it nailed. If only Dave would have been in Pasadena with me, then it would have. He would have, it would have been much better. <laughs> right, that's the end of the show, boys and girls. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching Fat Lads Going Gold. Thank you very much, Joe, for coming on. Is there anything you want to promote, plug, or just say before we end all this? Uh, up Wagner's Mighty Blues. The Blue oh, Machine. Right. Come on. All Absolutely. aboard. All aboard, all aboard. Right, thank you very much, everyone out there, for watching Fat Lads Going Goal. We love you more than life itself. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next week for the results of the competition. Get your entries into Fat Lads Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, and we'll pick the winners next week with our special guest.